Hi Stampin' Friends! We're going to make this card using the um, Little Owl set, the, you know, give a hoot for Halloween kind of a thing. Um, this is sort of inspired by um, my friend Teresa Howe. I did see her card um, right when I was trying to think of which of the little owls I was going to use for, the, uh, for this card for class. And um, she was, she had posted, 10 years ago I made this card with a, a sponged moon and then I did it and I'm like, oh yeah, definitely did that 10 years ago too. So um, I thought it would be fun to do that for this card. So let me show you how I did this. A couple of just kind of little simple tips. Um, I used the Stamparatus to do the other card and, and get everything where I wanted it to be for the matching, um, window tags that we did on the other card. Then I thought, well, it would be really good if I could show how to make this, um, make the circle work out just as well. So I lined it up where I wanted it and just drew a little um, bit of um, lead around it. And then I marked where I put my, um, magnets so that I could easily get it right back where I had it so that I could do a lot of stamping at once. Then I just inked up my little owl and spider. There we go. Like that. So you can see how quick and simple that was. It was just super fast. Then, get some colors and things here. I have given everyone um, that took the class a sponge dauber, or two sponge daubers. Um, the first thing to do, you have also a, a square or a triangle, rectangle, whatever, that's been punched. Um, just with a random punch, whatever size you think looks good. I think I used three quarter inch, but um, I'm sure we have a uh, die cut that would work. But honestly, I wanted to um, use a punch for speed. So I'm going to put this card here so that you can see what I'm going for. Um, I just want to add the um, So Saffron for the moon. And if you don't think the so saffron is bright enough, certainly you can use any other yellow. It'll just look real pretty. So you just kind of put that on there. And it doesn't matter that you're getting yellow on your spider because we're gonna color him with blends later. Now what I actually did on this one, I actually colored the entire background with my light Blackberry Bliss because I'm using Blackberry Bliss spider paper behind it. So, what I suggest on this, if you're going to um, do that, you might want to um, do the same around the edge because you're not gonna be able to sponge just around the edge. You're gonna, the coloring is much easier if you're doing it around the edge. So like, go ahead and go around the edge with your Blackberry Bliss. And then that way you'll have a nice, nicer, maybe not perfect, but a nicer edge and then you can use the other part here and do some, some sponging of Blackberry Bliss around there. But what I actually did was just color this all in, and I won't make you sit here and watch me color it all in, but that's what I did. So, just kind of around this, where the stitching is. And then I, I liked how it makes this pop without adding anything too frilly like the, um, like the big um, scalloped edges or anything like that. But it, it does add nice contrast and really pops it up out of the, the spot that it's in. Okay, so after I've done that, I want to use some pumpkin pie for his little feet, and you could use yellow, of course, but I think the, the orange shows up. It's just brighter for his beak and his feet. 
we are. And once I've done that, I've got to get some browns for the other one. There we go. Let's see, let's do our light basic black real quick for our little spider. There we are. Then, oh, it's even kind of spooky. We've got some storms. I don't know if you all can even hear that, but that's kind of a fun little add-on there. Okay, I've got my light crumb cake and my light soft suede. So my light soft suede, I'm just going over all of the spots that are sort that sort of look like they've been um, that they're um, textured or um, shadow spots. Just kind of go over that with the light soft suede, and then I'm doing the tree in the light soft suede. Like that. And this tree is not completely like finished in all the places. But I went ahead and filled in all the spot with brown because I think it just um, kind of makes it look a little neater. But whatever you think on that, of course. There we are. And then just right across the top here. And a little bit out of the lines is really no problem. If you have a big problem, then you can always get the white marker and color lift it right off. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm ready to just color with my light crumb cake. Fill in all the spots. It's possible this crumb cake um, is getting a little bit um, old. I don't know, it may be about at the end of its life, but it's still doing a fine job. Just might have to spend a little more time on it. I find the lighter ones don't last me as long as the darker ones. And maybe it's because I like dark colors and so I use a little too much of them. Totally possible. Okay, so there's that. And then what I did was just go through and use the rest of the light Blackberry Bliss to color this in. So um, you could also put the mask on here. Use some kind of um, really um, not very tacky glue, just a little bit of something sticky to hold that down and then sponge it on as well with the Blackberry Bliss. So we might try that real quick, see what we think. You wanna be careful not to get it outside of the line or we'll lose that white edge pop. So let's see how that works. Let's put a little, that's gonna be really dark, so I don't think I wanna do that. Um, but if yours is that way, then it won't matter because your whole thing will be like that. But to me, that's just a little too dark. So I don't even know if I can blend that. Oh, I think I can actually blend that out with the blends. That's kind of funny. I don't think you'll be able to tell much when I'm finished. But here you can see how this is just a different way of doing it. I just wanted to do something a little different. And um, I kind of like the way this is not exactly the same color as the ink itself. It's more, it's a lighter color. You can see there that it definitely is. Okay, and I might just add a little more shadow um, with maybe the dark Blackberry Bliss blend under the tree limbs and thing like that. And then make, it, make this look like it's there on purpose and that it's totally fine. So there's that. I think that gives you an idea though of how that looks. You just kind of color up to the edge and try not to leave any white anywhere. And so it's pretty simple to do, but it's kind of a fun little deal. And then you kind of have to be careful when you go around, like maybe just go ahead and put the, the little white thing on and just kind of go around it like that with your blends. This is great for those of you who have the blends. If you don't, I don't know, I guess it's not as fun, but there we go. Then you can fix any problems that you had and then just go ahead back in like that. 
And then if you ever have any problems with um, having having it look like it has lines when you use their blends, because I mean that can still happen a little bit, you can always just go over it with circles of color. And that will darken it, but it'll also get rid of those lines, at least for me anyway. It may just be the way I color that I, that I even have that problem in the first place. But there, I think you get the idea. So anyway, let's go ahead and put together our card. The first thing I did was um, I put Wink of Stella all over every raised portion of this cobwebs. Um, texture and press in the Boston Bold, embossing folder. And I think it really added a lot of sparkle. So let me see. I'm going to stop in the middle here and try to let you see so you can see um, some that has been colored with the blends. I mean, with the blends, gosh, listen. Um, has been colored with this and those that haven't been. So let's see here. I think I've probably done about enough now. There we go. And see where the sparkle is and where it isn't. Let's see. Maybe not. It's a little, it's a little dark tonight, so maybe you can't see that, but it really adds quite a bit of sparkle and shine to the cobweb. But I think I'm always one to want to do this with um, spider webs. You know, do them in black and have the sparkle show. Um, I've done it before using um, embossing powder and using um, both silver embossing powder and then silver embossing powder with glitter in it. That was super pretty. But this is actually much simpler, much less messy. And um, I'm not sure it's not just a little bit faster because you just you can just kind of do this absent-mindedly while you're watching TV or something. So it would be really easy to do, I think. So there I go adding that. And the middle doesn't really matter because I'm gonna put this little piece of paper down the middle. It's one of the, it's the Spider Designer Series paper from the um, Halloween, um, there's magic in this night paper. And so you really don't need to color right directly down the middle. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and do this other side. Sorry, I'm sure this is a little boring. Let's do as much as I can of this. I'll trade this out. I, can, I think I need to go through my Wink of Stella and see which ones are, I'm not actually certain which ones are needing to be tossed and which ones are still good. So that may be part of my problem here. So I'll just go right over. Let me give it a little squeeze. Let me get a little more. Oh, yeah, I've got a ton. I should have just done that a little sooner. Let me just go right over. All the little webbing. It's so generously webbed. Some right there. There we go. And I like to put quite a bit in the center because usually spider webs in the center are very um, sparkly. So, okay, call that good. And on this, I scored the paper this way. I made it a, a tall, skinny card. And then I just want to put um, some paper inside because this Blackberry Bliss is much too dark to um, use just as a, um, without a liner. So put the liner in. And then if you wanna pop this up on glue dots, that could look really nice. I mean, it's just kind of up to you. I decided not to, so that's just what I preferred. It doesn't really matter, so. There we go. Put that right on the top. Oops, give it a little scooch. bit that way there we are okay and the back side of this is beautiful as well so if you prefer um, using a harlequin pattern or a diamond pattern you could just put that up there I'm gonna go ahead with a spider since we are spidery and I meant for this card to have bought the um, 
iridescent black pearls out of the catalog. Um, that I'm talking about the um, holiday or the um, August through, oh my gosh, what is it? August through December catalog. But I didn't buy them. I thought I bought them. I intended to use them, but I did not buy them. Weird how that happens. And I'm trying to get this even. Um, yours will be easier to get even because it's a wider piece. But I ran out. I had cut one a little bit wrong. So I didn't want to give you all that. Or I didn't want to not have that. So, okay. I can finish coloring this later. But I'm going to go ahead and pop it up on dimensionals. want to use, um, since I haven't used any other dimensionals, I think I'll go ahead and use four on this. So that it's good and sturdy. And just put it where you think is cute. And then I've already colored over here so I can go ahead and put my boo on. So all I'm gonna do is put adhesive, flat adhesive on the part that's going to be on the um, image layer. And then I'm just gonna use a tiny glue dot, I mean a tiny dimensional if I can find one. Wow. They have run from me. I bet I have some over here. Let's see. Well, if I were looking for the other ones, I would not be able to find them, and I would have tons of mini dimensionals. How funny. Well, interesting. Okay, we'll just pretend. I'll use a little side piece here, but the mini dimensionals are perfect for this. That's what you want to use. So I'm just going to take this little tiny side piece that I cut with my scissors and put it out here on the edge to hold that up. And then I'm ready to just, I can just put that right on the spot there where I uh, tested the Blackberry Bliss and that just covered it right up. So there you can see how the card is supposed to look, and I hope you enjoy making it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.